Good afternoon. Hello, hello. This is Gayon Brong here in Southern California. Today, I'll be doing a, a, a presentation on in-service, un-at-risk youth anti-bullying intervention. So today, I'll be talking about um, youth that are impacted by bullying. So let's get started here on <clears throat> page two here. Here we go. Okay. So what is the learning objectives of today's presentation? Uh, we'll talk about bullying, what it is, um, some facts about bullying. We're gonna talk about the characteristics of students that, that are um, that bully, um, statistics of vulnerability, vulnerability and uh, supports available for, for prevention, and in the intervention method rec recommended. So the, I'm gonna talk about the me method that I um, recommend to, inter to intervene, to um, help it, you know, with bullying, situations. Uh, so what is bullying? So bullying, it, it can be uh, physical, I'm sorry, move this up here. It can be physical, verbal, relational, and indirect. Okay, so physical bullying, that, that's any type of physical assault, hitting, uh, pushing, kicking um, to the target, the victim. Um, could be verbal bullying, um, verbal statements such as name calling, um, teasing, threats. Relational bullying, uh, spreading rumors, in ignoring the, um, the target, the victim, or telling others not to be friends with the victim. Indirect bullying, which is, uh, can be, um, which is you know, same as uh, cyber bullying, which involves using electronic media, social media, et cetera, internet to intentionally harm another student. So those are the four aspects of bullying, okay? Next, uh, cyber, so let's talk about cyberbullying. What is cyberbullying? It's characterized by using the form of electronics, so it could be cell phones, texting, social media, that allows the perpetrator to remain anonymous and intensify feelings of discomfort for the victim. So let's look at some examples of cyberbullying. Flaming, which is online fighting, um, harassment, sending mean messages online, uh, denig <clears throat> denigration, which is spreading rumors online, impersonation, pretending to be someone else, outing, sharing someone's secret online, um, trickery, sharing someone's embarrassing information online. So these are forms of how um, students are able to bully someone else using the internet online, okay? Next, impacts. What are the impacts of bullying? There's negative ramifications um, can occur for all individuals involved in bullying, including students who bully, students who are targeted, targeted and students who are bystanders. Students who bully others are more likely to have issues with substance abuse later in, adult, in adolescence and other problems such as criminal behavior or violence. Students who are victims to bullying can experience in negative emotional states, increased rates of suicidal thoughts and problems related to academic performance and school attendance. Students who observe bullying as bystanders also experience problems such as emotional distress and substance abuse. So these are the impacts of bullying, which is a huge problem. And this is why I'm, I'm addressing this um, issue today, okay? Um, statistics of bullying. So here's some, some statistics that I gathered through my research. According to data in 2015, United States Department of Education reported that 25% of students between the ages of 12 and 18 reported being bullying, bullied, I'm sorry, at school. Bar Height, Hubbard and High 2012 revealed that 71% 71, 71 of school shootings perpetrators were bullied. Research suggests that bullying is most common in middle school, which is a time when children are most vulnerable. So those are some statistics regarding bullying. Next is supports available for intervention. So number one support um, school counselors, okay? Some studies have shown that implementing interventions during the last grades of primary school is important to preventing bullying and reducing it in the future. So the school counselor's responsibility in implementing anti-bullying intervention programs will help in reducing bullying incidences. School counselors implementing anti-bullying programs during the early school years, such as elementary, would be most effective. So this states that you know, implementing these anti-bullying interventions earlier um, in, in the child's academic um, career is it's usually the most effective, okay? So that's important to, to realize. Supports for intervention. So what kind of supports can we have for bullying? Um, parents, teachers, and, so, and school administrators 
can help students engage in positive behavior and teach them skills so that they know how to intervene when bullying occurs. Creating an anti-bullying document and having both student and parents sign and return to the school office helps students understand the seriousness of bullying. Parents of kids being bullied. Signs to look for, ripped clothing, hesitation about going to school, decreased appetite, nightmares, crying, depression, and anxiety. One of the things that really resonate me for doing this topic is I do have a son who is in middle school. So I do, in the back of my mind, think about that and always looking at signs, questioning him, talking to him to make sure that he isn't a, you know, being bullied at school. Um, another thing is have open-ended open, open -ended conversations so you can learn what is going on and let your child know that you will help them and should and should not try to fight back on their own so they can you know find other ways to help get the help they're not alone in a matter practice scenarios at home to help them cope so do some practicing at home talk to talk to them even maybe talk to your teachers to see what kind of things can you talk about them at home to help them um, identify help them uh, your you know your child identify students and friends that can help them at school so that's those are so these are things as parents we can do um, you know, to help support and make sure our child isn't being a victim and, you know, talk to them regularly. So one of the, one of the intervention methods that I recommend doing my research, which really resonated with me, is this right here, which is called STACK. This is what I'm going to talk about today. This is an intervention that I thought was very interesting through my research. So it stands for stealing the show, which is an S, turning it over, T, accompanying others, A, and coaching compassion. The purpose of STACK is to train students as defenders to intervene when they observe bullying at school. The first step in STACK is for school counselors to select students to be trained as advocates. So they're gonna, so the school counselor role in STACK is vital, very, very important. So they, um, the school counselor has the, uh, you know, the ability to, to um, select students that, that they wanna train as defenders for the STACK um, you know, intervention. The school counselor can conduct training themselves or partner with a local counseling, counselor education program to do the training. So a lot of school counselors do it themselves or they can get or they can partner with someone to, to help them, you know, in um, rolling out a stack uh, intervention. So what are the, what's, so what's involved in the training for stack? Training is a nine, it's typically 90 minutes that include didactic, exper, experiential, and, and we move to here, and concluding components. So we're gonna talk about these three components of the, of the stack training. Didactic, include auto visual presentation as discusses the overall aspects of bullying. So this presentation talks about the entire bullying, what bullying is, different scenarios, situations, um, students that are, that are bullied, um, students you know that, that, are, that observe it, et cetera. So it gives, the presentation gives an overall um, lesson on bullying and what, you know, things, strategy they can use to help, you know, these students. And part of the training is to coach the, the defenders and how to handle it. Training involves hand-on activities throughout the presentation to keep students engaged. There's, there's some hands-on activities that go throughout this 90-minute training to keep the students engaged, you know, and not, you know, this, uh, their mind shifting somewhere else. Experiential component. So what's, what, that, what that includes is student participation and set role plays so with the role plays, a lot of um, this is where the, the school counselor um, they a lot of times they develop their own role plays for the, for this training. Okay, uh, students are divided into small groups based on the, on the grade level and act out bullying situations and practice stack strategies. Which next I'll get into what the stack strategies are. Um, and, the, and the concluding component of this training is students come together and share their favorite stack strategy and sign a poster that says, "The end of bullying begins with me." Okay, so those are the components of the training. It's 90 minutes typically. So that's the stack training. What are the strategies of stack? We talked about the fourth, what, what the stack stands for. Stealing the show, using humor to distract student attention away from the bullying situation. So during the training, they do talk about ways they can, they, the student can, the, the, the defendant can intervene. So if, if they see a student being bullied, they can step in do some kind of humor or something to distract from that situation and get the students away from the bullying and shift their attention to something else. And humor is one way to do that, um, to achieve that. Um, turning it over involves informing an adult about the bullying situation and asking for help when they are unsure on how to intervene. So, which is great. So that, you know, they, as the, they teach them in the, in the training, hey, if you feel like a situation, you see it going on and you, don't, you can't decipher how to intervene, get help. Seek help from an adult, from someone in the staff, a teacher, someone at school. Um, 
accompanying others A in stack involves the defender reaching out to the targeted victim and communicating to them what had happened is unacceptable. So a lot of times these the kids are victim they feel alone when now the defender can step and let them know, hey, you're not alone and it's not your fault. And they can you know, help that student by talking to them, being a friend. Um, coaching compassion, this is where this kind of, um, you know, different here you can this is where you can gently confront the bully the, the person that's doing the bully either during or after the incident and informing them that his or her behavior is unacceptable so the defender is also trained on how to approach the bull the person that's bullying and how to talk to them and let them know you know to teach them hey this is not okay there's other ways and the, and they kind of you know this is this is a great way to get a dialogue started and to hopefully find a way of, 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 to you know resolve this problem to stop that student from bullying um so this, as, as I stated earlier, the school counselor's role is very vital in the staff training um, pro, intervention um, program. So um, the school counselor provides support to students trained as defenders. So, this, as the, so the students that are trained in this program, they are, you know, the school counselors um, provide supports by, um, they conduct follow-up meetings to check in with them, to check in with the defenders and assess how they can become more effective defenders. And this is another point here. This is another way too for the school counselor to gain greater awareness of bullying from a student perspective. So they can meet the, with, with these students and you know on a monthly, bi-weekly basis, find out what's going on, situation that, that has occurred in bullying, what was done, what happened. And you know, the, the school counselor can get more involved and really even, you know, give these students even more direction of what to do. And if there's things that they can't handle, it's too much, come to the school counselor, they're gonna there's support to help them. Um so the end here is uh, school counselors are well positioned to address bullying in schools by providing intervention and support for students. So the school counselor plays a, a vital, huge role in this anti-bullying prevention, you know, um, programs here to help with this bullying. And it's also, you know, hotlines like the school my son go to, they have a, you know, line you can call to report any kind of incidences, et cetera, where you're anonymous, they can report those things. and the, any kind of bullying, whatever, that, that information can get sent to the school counselor, they can investigate it and take it further. So in, in his school, bullying is, you know, which most of today schools, um, districts, bullying is a huge issue and no, they don't take it, this, this into, there's no tolerance and schools are really stepping up and really ensuring that these kids are being helped because a lot of times bullying leads to suicide. And again, they talk about shoot, school shootings. So it's a, it's a huge problem in the schools today. So I'm glad is that if me as a mom, my, my son, that they do take it seriously and they have a, the school counselors play a huge role. They have a lot of intervention supports at the school to help, you know, these kids to ensure that bullying does not occur in their school. Okay. So that concludes my presentation. Um, if you want to learn more about the stack um, here, Midget, right here, the very last reference here is where I got that information from. She does a great, huge, great article on this. And you can learn more, especially for those of us that's pursuing to be future counselors. So I hope that helps. That's my presentation for today. Gay on here. Thank you so much for your time. And I hope you had an aha moment. I hope you learned something today about the um about bullying and how it's um school administrators, um, school counselors, et cetera, parents, how we can all get involved and make this you know situation go away, make 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 bullying occur less and less as the more we get involved, the more educated we become, we can put this situation at, at rest and so there's less students having to deal with bullying because it's a very serious issue and it does affect our, our, you know, our kids. So thanks again for your time. And this is Gayon here signing off for now. Woohoo!